Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna talk about how to find the volume of composite solids. So a composite solid could be two solids stacked together, or it could be one solid that has a, another solid like chunk taken out of it, okay? And we're gonna do one example of each of those. In our first example, we have kind of that second um, scenario I said where we have a solid and we have a piece that's taken out. So here we have a, a cylinder solid, and you can see in the middle, it's like a, a triangular prism that has been like almost cut out and just pulled out of our cylinder. And so we need to find the volume of the cylinder, also the volume of this triangular prism, and then subtract the two so that we can get the volume of our composite solid. So if we think about the volume of our cylinder first. Okay, our volume of our cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height. So we can go ahead and find that. We have pi. Our radius here would be 10, so 10 squared, and our height is 32. So now let's just write this in terms of pi. This would be 3,200 pi. And I'm just gonna put a couple stars by that. That's our volume of the entire cylinder if there was no piece taken out, okay? So now we need to go and find the volume of our prism now. And for the volume of a prism, remember it's just area of the base times the height. So the, the base here is gonna be these triangles. So we need to find the area of one of these triangles. And we can go ahead and write the area of the triangle as one half base times height. And then we need to multiply that by the height of the actual um, prism, which in this case would be the same as the height of the cylinder, 32 centimeters. So if we think about one half, we see the base here of our triangle is 12, um, but we're not explicitly given the height of the triangle. Um, and then like we said, the height of the cylinder is 32. So now if we think about this triangle, it does give us that these two sides are congruent to each other. So if we split this triangle into two congruent triangles, we just drew an altitude straight down from the vertice, um, a perpendicular to the side, then that's gonna split this, this base into two sections of six centimeters. So now we have a six, let's see if we, if we drew this over here, we have a right triangle that we've created and we have one of our legs is six, the hypotenuse is 10. So hopefully there's some, some clicks going on in your head thinking, oh, six, eight, 10, Pythagorean triple, which tells us the height of our triangle here is eight. So we can plug that in right there. And now we can go ahead and solve this. So this is gonna be 48 times 32. So we do 48 times 32. And that's gonna give us 1,536 for our volume, and this is cubic centimeters. So now we have our two volumes. So we have 3,200 pi and we have 1,536. And now we need to subtract those. So to find the volume of the solid, we are going to take 3,200 pi and subtract 1,536. So 3,200 pi minus 1,536. And that's gonna give us 8,517 point one, we'll just say 0 0.10, and this is cubic centimeters. Okay, so that'd be the volume for that composite solid. Our next example, we have a cube, and then it has like half of a cylinder on top of it. So now we wanna add these two volumes together. Well, the volume of the cube we can find pretty quickly. It is just side cubed. So our volume of our cube is four cubed, which is 64 cubic inches. Okay, so we can come back to that in just a minute. Now, if we think about our cylinder, so we'll say volume of a half cylinder. So we just said that is equal to pi r squared times height. That would be for the full cylinder. So since it's half, we can go ahead and divide it by two. So we're gonna find the radius, which would be half of four, so two squared, and our height is four. Actually, it would probably be this distance. Okay, so four, and then we're gonna divide that by two. Divide by two. All right, so we're gonna get two squared is four, four times four is 16, so we get 16 pi over two, which is equal to eight pi. So now we need to do 64 plus eight pi to find the volume of our solid. So 64 plus eight pi, 64 plus eight pi, and that gives us a volume of 89.13, and we were working with cubic inches, okay? And that is how you find the volume of composite solids. <laughs>